Hi, it's Craig again, uh, if you've not seen me before that is. So what we're looking at today is torque wrenches and uh, this is a e torque wrench. Now what you use a torque wrench for is tightening up um, nuts to a certain um, torque, hence the name torque wrench. Now um, why would that be useful? Well let's just use an example of the wheel, the wheel nuts on your car. In the manufacturer specification, it will say tighten up to a certain torque. And that's what you use a torque wrench for. You would set the torque wrench, which I'm going to show you in a minute, and you would then use it to tighten up and it, it clicks and lets you know when you've reached that um, correct torque. Now that's important because if you don't do your wheel nuts up tight enough, wheels are going to fall off. Or they're going to come loose anyhow. Uh, and if you the other extreme, if you over tighten them, you risk snapping snapping the um, the um, the bolts that the nuts are fixed to. So uh, right, so here's a torque wrench, and if we look, try to drop this on the computer. Uh, let's focus this in. So we'll zoom in and zoom. right there we go. You can see there. Um, let's go. Right there we go. NM. It says NM and some numbers underneath. Now that stands for Newton meters, which is obviously meters being a metric system. And on this particular torque wrench, if I turn it round, we have F. Yeah, where has it gone? There we are. Uh, da -da -da -da. Right, now the lights bounce over a bit. It says FT LBS, so feet pounds and you've got the numbers underneath. So um, in Europe and most of the world, we generally um, use the metric system, whereas places like the United States would use the, the, the um, feet and pounds. Um, well, we'll call it the imperial system in the UK. I don't know what the Americans call it, but uh, possibly the same. Uh, you can tell I should have wrote the script before I started this. But basically, um, if you if you the manufacturer will publish um, torque settings for different nuts in a car engine, the wheels, the um, the cylinder head bolts, and it's important that you tighten up to that correct torque because if it's too loose, the nuts could come loose, and you could have in the case of wheel nuts, wheels dropping off. In the case of um, the head bolts holding the cylinder head on on an internal combustion engine. Um, you might get um, head gasket failure. Now the other extreme is you over tighten and you can risk snapping the bolts which is a bit of a pain especially if it's like um, <laughs> well whatever if, if it's in a, um, a cylinder head you've then got the problem of getting the remains of the bolts out of the engine block and yeah it's, it's a pain. Um, so try not to do it. So that's what we use the torque wrench for. So, this switch here, this lever rather, if you, if I, if I go, I can go like that at the moment and turn it that way. So I'm turning it clockwise. So that'll be for tightening. Now, I can also click it the other way and, well, it'll go the other way. Oh, well, the reason I'm saying, well, is because this one doesn't actually work in reverse. Um, but the important thing is it works in the way we want it to work for tightening. So basically that changes direction. So if you, for tightening you go clockwise, you'd flick that and you could do it anti-clockwise. But obviously anti-clockwise, um, this is a torque wrench, you're tightening up to a torque. So, well, take it from me, it's prob probably just use a normal um, socket on here as a uh, socket um, handle rather than this because that is why mine doesn't work in reverse because I tried putting a lot of pressure on to um, loosen a, um, a loose road wheel and I've broken it but it still works for what it's designed for, for tightening up to a torque it just doesn't work in reverse anymore the loosening just goes round so what you'll do so I keep looking down because I've got a laptop in front of me and um, I can see myself on the screen but uh, I'll look down now again and make sure whether I've actually got um, 
this in, in, in on in camera shot. So there's a nut there, slacken that off and let's zoom it in again. Is that gonna work? Right, hang on. There we are. Focus, focus. Right, now I've got this ca the camera I'm using is digital SLR camera, hence I can focus it in, which is actually quite useful for this. Right, so um so for instance there's an <laughs> uh right there we go right does the I'm quite in focus there's numbers on there so there's 90 for instance so if you wanted 90 newton meters of torque you wind the handle you slacken the this is weird <laughs> i can see this how in in the, on the monitor i'm trying to right so you slacken that off you turn that round and this moves up or down and you need to level with the marking so ah, there we go level with the markings so you can turn that round and this is going this piece is going up turn it that way and it's going down until you've got it level with with the uh, torque setting that you want then tighten that back up <laughs> where's it gone it's quite disorientating so I'm looking I'm, I'm looking at myself in a monitor I'm trying to hold this, I think I should just look at look at this and look at the camera, right? So then, once you've set it to the torque, you can put your socket on and tighten up to whatever torque setting you want. So that is torque wrench. Let's zoom this out. Right. Hopefully, I'll get better at these videos. Uh, I've not done one for a long time. Torque wrench. So there you go. So this is Craig and. Um, I hope you, <laughs> I was say you found it interesting, you probably stopped watching five minutes ago, but uh, yeah, torque wrench, useful bit of kit. Thank you.